Hari Ani from the Singapore Red Cross was involved in the relief efforts. He joins me now to share about his experiences in Leyte and Cebu. So Hari, thanks for joining Thank us. You. Now, Typhoon Haiyan was described as a super typhoon, a mega disaster. So you already had a mental picture going into the affected areas. What was your first reaction? In any disasters, when we respond to disasters, we always uh, have to prepare for the worst uh, scenarios. Uh, similarly, for Typhoon Haiyan, when, we was, uh, when it made landfall in, in Leyte, uh, uh, it is a super typhoon, category five, uh, the, the biggest, the deadliest del uh, typhoon in the history of the Philippines. Mm -hmm. So we actually have uh, prepared ourselves <laughs> to face uh, the worst case scenario in, mm -hmm. in the location. And was it as bad as you had it in your mind? It is actually much more. And particularly when we went to, to, to uh, the area where we are deployed in Omok, when we went there, uh, we uh, actually was uh, given a scenario where all uh, the big, uh, strong buildings, the roof are torn apart. Uh, the, the building of the hosp hospital, 80% of the building was destroyed. It reminds me uh, during the days when, we, we, when I respond to uh, disasters uh, such as the Asian tsunamis mm -hmm. and even the recent uh, uh, typhoon Pablo uh, in uh, Davao. Mm -hmm. Now, you brought in a team of staff as well as volunteers. Now, presumably, your volunteers are not as experienced as a staff. I mean, what was their reaction as well? For, for Singapore Red Cross, we have a, a big pool of, of, of volunteers. Uh, many of them uh, have also have experience for previous disasters. Mm -hmm. In particularly in, in our advanced team, we actually selected volunteers who have ever gone to uh, a location or have some experience in disaster response. So for the first team, we do all of our volunteers, the three volunteers that uh, uh, accompany the advanced team have already done uh, disasters before. Some of them have done as far back as the Asian tsunami. Some have even uh, participated in the Jogja uh, earthquake. Mm -hmm. Now, the focus of uh, your team's efforts was on essential needs of the victims. Uh, can you explain a bit more? Okay, for, for Singapore Red Cross, uh, we are actually taking part in the concerted effort of the Red Cross and Red Crescent movement supporting this, uh, the Philippine Red Cross. Uh, collectively, uh, the Philippine Red Cross uh, plan to provide uh, basic uh, food items, uh, waters, uh, be, uh, to provide uh, uh, med uh, medical services, to provide shelters, to uh, hopefully uh, to, to reach out to more to 100,000 families. So for, for Singapore Red, Red Cross, in addition, uh, we believe we can uh, contribute uh, by uh, deploying our medical team to provide uh, the, the basic medical care for the affected communities. Now, I mean, uh, when you went there, I mean, all the basic infrastructure was pretty much wiped out. You know, no transport, no food, no, no hospitals. How did you get around all these disruptions? For one of the main challenges uh, at the location, especially the location where we deploy at Omok, mm -hmm. one of the, the challenges is that because of the cut of supply of petrols, transportation is very scarce. Yeah. Because we have been uh, we working very closely with our uh, Philippine Red Cross, they are actually able to mobilize uh, uh, transportation, a uh, decent accommodation for our uh, our teams uh, who are deployed there. Right, and uh, could you describe what was the general mood of the community? Okay, for the Philippine Red Cross, what actually I mean, we we, we personally for me, I respond to many disasters in Philippines. The amazing about the people of of, of Philippines, they are so resilient. We can always see uh, the, the intensity in the face, but they never fail to, to portray the warmness. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and they have always this a positive outlook. Uh, whenever we, we come across, we provide, and they're always appreciative of whichever uh, small help is given by, by the locals or by the international communities. All right, so Hari, thanks for joining us. Thanks for sharing Thank you. your experience. And, and to donate, you can visit the Red Cross website. The URL is now showing on your screen.